Jeff Solo. 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 Hey folks, I'm Phil Cohen, the Avenue Shade Jeff Solo. How's it going? I know it's been a while. It's been a while. I've been, uh, I, I think I forgot I even had a YouTube channel. I was watching other people's videos and I was thinking, God, this is good, this YouTube malarkey. And then I was like, wait a minute, I've got my own channel, which I've not uploaded on for probably a couple of months. Arr! Not good news, folks, not good news. However, I've been busy, busy doing boring shit. You know, real life stuff. <sighs> like, Going to the hospital and cutting the grass and working and boring, boring stuff. But I have managed to get myself a few quality little bits to add to my Funko Pop collection. Uh, you're probably like, oh no, but afraid so guys. Funko Pops are awesome, but not the bobbleheads, they're weird. Don't buy the bobbleheads. And not generic human faces, they're really boring as well. But I got some crackers and uh, a few that I've been perusing for quite some time. And... I watched the uh, new Predator movie again, uh, I went to the cinema to watch it and then it came out on Sky, so I watched it on Sky, and uh, yep, second time round, still shit, but, uh, but it got me thinking, god I really want the original Predator Funko Pop, and it's been really really expensive online to get, uh, but this one wasn't too bad, so I snared it, uh, and it is, yep, number 482 I think it is, yep. It's the original Predator with mask. You can get the one without the mask, but um, I want the one with the mask because it looks, looks badass. So there it is. So there you go. It's a special edition. I don't know what that means. And on the back, you've just got the bump, like the, the face of the Predator and the target, the heat sensor. So yeah, I picked that one up. So I'm super happy with that. I've wanted that one for pure ages, man. So that's going straight on the shelf today because i have i've got four funko pops one in a shop three online that was one of the ones one of the ones i got online the next one is to partner up with one i already have it's part of the double act it is another special edition it's oblix now this guy was a fortune for ages uh i can already see he's going to be an absolute bugger who needs to stand but um i already had asterix and oblix was one that i needed there's asterix over there next to popeye so yeah, he's pretty awesome as well. On the back is just the two you can get. There's only they only made the two. It'd be cool if they made more of them, but I don't think they will. Um, yeah, so Oblix. He has a ginormous head, which uh, slightly worries me, uh, as I've said, for standing. But we'll see, we'll see. So anyway, I've got Oblix, which I thought was awesome. Uh, and the last one, now uh, I bought this off eBay, but I bought this off a company called Place in Space, I think it's called. Honestly, guys, if you want to buy any, they, they're not endorsing this uh, video. I wish they would. It'd be great, uh, but they're not. <laughs> but I just want to put it out there. They're a really good company. If you want to buy a Funko Pop online, a place in space is the way to do it on eBay. Really, really great uh, customer service. Brilliant. Uh, I'll explain what happened. So basically, I bought this guy, which is Michael Jordan uh, from the Chicago Bulls fame. That's when I was kind of into basketball, when the, the Bulls with Scottie Pippen and and this big fella uh, when I watched basketball and uh, yeah they sent me this now they sent it to me and it had, a, it had a scratch across its head and I was like oh no and usually when it's like eBay you're like oh how do, what do I do so I basically contacted them and said look it's got a scratch on his head I think it's been done in the factory not a problem to these guys not a problem send take a picture send it back no bother free postage boom send me another one out job done had it done in about a week uh, which I thought was fantastic customer service. I've bought pops from them before. I highly, highly recommend to buy your pops. They're not a bad price, to be fair. A lot of them are kind of reasonably priced. Definitely worth buying your pops from a place in space on eBay. If you're in the UK, that is. I don't know. I think they do ship abroad, but really, really good uh, pop supplier in the UK. And they also have a shop. I want to say it's in Guildford. Might be wrong. Uh, but anyway, I might put a link actually to their shop in the description just because I was really really chuffed with their um, feedback 
and they're the way they sorted out the problem. Superb. So anyway, yep, so there's Michael Jordan. So that was the three I got online. And then I was in, where was I now? I think I was in Asda. Asda, yeah. Now, I know Asda is not owned by, is it Walgreens that own Asda? Or Walmart? Or well, used to own Asda, but they don't anymore, apparently. So their toy selection's pretty crap now. It was crap anyway in my one, but it's even worse now. But they did have some brand new Funko Pops. And I've seen Toy Story 4. I didn't particularly enjoy it. Um, I thought it... I think they should have stopped at the third one, if I'm honest. Um, but there is a bit of a tearjerker at the end. I won't ruin it for you. But it got me right in the feels. But um, yes, I got a Toy Story 4 pop. Now, I like these ones better than the original Toy Story pops. They've got a bit more detail in them. And this guy's probably my favourite character of the whole Toy Story franchise. And it is the alien. Um, I absolutely love him. Fair claw. He's... <laughs> They're great. So yeah, I got this one. I already, I think my mum bought me Woody and Buzz. So I've got those two. Um, I would have really liked Buzz with his helmet. I think I might still get that one at some point. But at the moment, he's he's helmetless. I'm just looking down there because they're down there. I know you guys can't see that. Just <laughs> it's pretty off putting. Sorry, but uh, yeah, there is the alien. Uh, brilliant. I'm not really gonna buy any of the others. Um, I nearly bought what was it? Oh no, he's not on here. I like Duke Kaboom. He's <laughs> he's quite cool. That's Keanu Reeves who plays him, which I didn't know until recently. So yeah, I got that guy. So there you go, folks. Just a quick one, just a few pops um, to show you. Sorry, been away for a while. I think I, I have a, a I get into a rhythm of doing this, like not uploading and then apologising. So yeah, I am sorry, but you know life gets in the way sometimes. You know I'm busy doing boring stuff. But I am going to a Comic-Con. Um, I'm going to the one in Livingston. Am I going to the one in Livingston? I think it is. Because I think uh, the Duck from Back to the Future is going to be there. So I'm stoked. I'm going to meet him, hopefully. Get a signed photo of him. Christopher Lloyd? Christopher Lloyd? Mm, I got that wrong. But anyway, I think that's his name. So yeah, until the next one, guys. I uh, hope you're all well. I'm going to be doing, probably trying to pump out a video next week as well. I'm not promising because it's me and I'm useless. But um, I might show off my muscle men because I'll just show you here. That is all my muscle men. So I've got quite a few. So I might do a video on those just to show you what I've got, really. Um, anything Also, oof, anything you guys want to see. I was watching Sci-Fi the other day there. And he does Subscriber's Choice, which I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, so if you guys want to see anything that I have or, uh, or just anything in general, I can show you it. Yeah, well, toy related, not anything. <laughs> You know, I don't, do you have a unicorn? No, no, I don't have one of those. But just, you know, toy related uh, that I do have, I'm more than happy to show you guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.